Today we're going to be talking about an exciting new feature on EDA Playground, real-time collaboration. This is where multiple people can edit the same EDA Playground code and run it uh, simultaneously. Um, so let's go through an example. So first of all, you have to be logged in and uh, you can see up here there's a collaborate button. So once I press that button, a screen comes up and uh, you can either say I'm ready for some default options or you can set a few things like for example you can set up your name and choose a color that you like um, and then some other options so let's uh, let's say I'm ready and once you're ready you have a link that you sent to a friend of yours so in this case for this example I'm gonna use a uh, um, as use case that I use EDA Playground for which is interviews where I'm on the, on the phone with someone and I want them to actually do live coding that I can see. So I have an example brought up here, uh, an interview question. So let's pretend that our, our candidate has um, another browser up, in this case this is Chrome on the right and Firefox on the left. So if I send them the link, they'll put it in and they'll open it up and uh, they have the option to join the collaboration session and they can go through the same type of setup. As you can see right away on the left, uh, the mouse is moving and uh, if you don't set up any options, you get a default name. In this case, the user um, has the name Wacky Whale. Uh, so uh, as you can see, the mouse on the left uh, is moving. That's, uh, that's the mirrored mouse. So the candidate is moving the mouse and it's moving on my screen. Similarly, the same thing happens if I go, if I move the mouse, and you can see Victor is moving on the right. Uh, so let's write some code. Suppose the candidate uh, wanted to show me off his stuff and he wanted uh, to write some code. So let's uh, do a simple uh, example here. And let's just do a display statement. Let's see and end. So as you can see, as the candidate was typing the code, I was able to see it on the screen. Uh, now besides typing the code, there's a few other things that work, like collapsing these sections, uh, things like that, um, and selecting different simulators. As you can see, they're mirrored across the screen. Uh, so another thing you might notice is on the right, the candidate isn't actually logged in. Um, and they have slightly different buttons up here. They're able to copy the code, but I'm the owner of this particular playground, so only I have the save button here on the, on the, on the left screen. And uh, since I'm logged in, I, I can only run the code. So let's go ahead and run this code. So I think we'll, we'll get some additional uh, print statements here and you'll be able to see these additional print statements. So let's go ahead and uh, run this. As you can see the code is running on both screens and uh, both users saw the results simultaneously. Uh, so another cool thing you can do is you can chat. So if you don't have a voice connection um, you can actually chat and type messages here. and the other user will see the message and they can respond. So there's a chatting cap capability as well. All right, let's go ahead and now uh, what I wanna do is I wanna, suppose I go to a different page, suppose I go to uh, somewhere else, uh, another playground. So I'm gonna open this one up, it's a bit different. So the other user got a notification and both users actually got notifications that they went to a different page so the other user has a choice to actually go to that page and continue the collaboration session on a different playground so in this case it's a slightly different example uh, it has tabs so tab changing also works and in this case what I wanted to show you is I'm gonna make an edit here on the left side I'm gonna delete a uh, bunch of code and you see it synchronized and then I'm able to save and I'm the only one that can, that can save this code um, the other user can only copy it 
Um, and so for a little more fun, uh, if you want even more people to join in, you click this button and you see the link again. And I'm going to go ahead and have another person join. And let's see if we can see him. Okay, we've got another person join. Intelligent Iguana. As you can see, uh, the mouse is moving. So we've got three people in a collaboration session here.